Hello, this is Paul, and today's tutorial is part one of triads. In our tutorial, we will talk about major and minor triads. Chords are three or more notes played harmonically or melodically. Major triads are three note chords that are made up from the first, third, and fifth degree of the major scale. This is a C major triad on the treble clef. This is also called the tonic major triad and can be indicated with an uppercase Roman numeral I. Capital Roman numerals mean major. Let's do our first tonic major triad in F. We use the F major scale and take the root, major third, and perfect fifth. These notes are F, A, and C. Those notes put together are called the F tonic major triad. When we stack them and play them all together, it is called a solid triad. When we split them up and play them separately, it is called a broken triad. Let's try a few examples. We'll start with a tonic major triad in the key of G major, solid. Since we only need the first five notes of our major scale, we will shrink our G major scale down. We start with the intervals of root, which is G, major third, which is B, and the perfect fifth, which is D. Here is our G major triad solid. Let's try an E flat major tonic triad broken in the bass clef. Here are the first five notes of the E flat major scale. Let's pick out our root, E flat. Our major third is G, and our perfect fifth is B flat. Let's write them separately. This is the E flat major tonic triad broken. Let's try one with a key signature. This example will be an A flat major tonic triad solid in the treble clef. Here are our notes in A flat. Here are our intervals of 1, 3, and 5. This is a solid A-flat major tonic triad. Let's move on to tonic minor triads. A tonic minor triad follows the same procedure as a major tonic triad, but the difference is we are in a minor key. Tonic minor triads are also indicated with a lowercase Roman numeral I. Lowercase Roman numerals indicate minor. Let's start in A minor. In order to find our key for the A minor scale, we have to find the relative major. We go up three semitones from A and arrive at C. C is a relative major and the C major scale has no key signature. Once we have the key signature, we go back to A minor. We then start on the tonic, which is A. We then use the C, which is a third. We then add the fifth, which is E. This is the tonic A minor triad. Let's do an E tonic minor triad broken in the bass clef with a key signature. Let's take it apart piece by piece. We start on E and go up three semitones, which is G. G is a relative major and G is one sharp. Once we know the relative major, we go back to E. Here are our first five notes of the E minor scale. We then take the root, which is E, the third, which is G, and the fifth, which is B. We will write them separately, so this is now the E tonic minor triad broken. Let's do an F minor tonic triad in the treble clef, solid, and no key signature. The relative major of F is A flat. A flat has four flats consisting of B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat. This is the first five notes of the F minor scale. The tonic is F, third is A flat, and the fifth is C. This is the F minor tonic triad. Go to palmei.com for a recap of this tutorial along with questions regarding major and minor tonic triads.